So we did the north route of the DR and hopped along the coast to Samana, and then we crossed the Mona Passage. And these guys actually went to, to the Windward Passage, which is the west side of, it's actually Haiti on that side. So they stopped in Haiti and explored that. I guess you didn't really get off the boat much though, right? Yeah, they didn't get off the boat. And being online friends, like that was one of our big topics that we were talking about. We were like going back and forth. Are you doing this passage? Are you doing this passage? Why are you doing this one? Are the dogs allowed? Because they have a dog too. So these guys went all along to the Windward Passage and then along the south coast of Haiti and then the south coast of the DR, then across the Mona Passage to, to Puerto Rico here. And what do you guys think of that whole passage? So you guys had some rough times in the Windward Passage. Yeah, we blew out our mainsail. We got approached in the middle of the night. It wasn't the, the easiest sail down. It took five and a half days. How it, long did you think it was going to take? Two and a half. Okay. But it took five and a half. We lost wind. Um, and they're all electric. So they're all electric. They need the wind. We need the wind. So we can't sail without the wind. We got to Illabosh in Haiti and it was amazing. People there are so great. It was just so unique. We can't wait to go back there. We left there and then we went to Bay of Eagles and that was gorgeous. We checked in at Barahona, which the check-in process is, if you know Puerto Rico, <laughs> it's a little, or not Puerto Rico, if you know the Republic. Republic, it's a little more involved than any other place that you go. You have to get a despacho and check out of the same area and then check in the next spot. Just dirtier than what we're used to. Like people would just throw trash in the harbor. They'd throw trash on the road. We actually had to clean out our prop several times from plastic bags. So that was kind of off-putting. And the whole dispatcho politics we didn't really care for. Um, so we were happy to leave there and go to Boca Chica. Boca Chica, they don't want you anchoring out any longer. They used to be able to anchor out. Thought we could. We got so now Boca Chica is a, another port of entry, right? Yes. Yeah. So you got your dispatcher there, yep. but they were like forcing you to stay in the marina yeah, still. Yeah, they were forced to stay in the marina, even though throughout the day there's boats anchored all over the place. Uh, we did try to anchor out and we were approached by the Navy the next morning with the marina and they said that we can't do it. So we ended up getting an international dispatcher to leave. We had the boat come and search the, a dog come and search the boat. We were really sad because we wanted to go to San Domingo, but we decided just to make haste and get out of Dominican Republic and come on over to Puerto Rico. We were trying to decide if we were going to go the North Coast and the Mona Passage or the or the Windward Passage and then the South Coast. We decided North Coast because main reason was our insurance didn't want us going to Haiti. Yeah. And if we stopped at the island, we're technically, so if anything were to have happened, we wouldn't have been covered. That was so one of them, yeah. something happened, who knows, we could have done it. Um, we read positive stuff about both places. The goods are going to the Windward, the goods are going to Mona, but I think at the end of the day, we were just like, there was more information on the Mona, yeah. I think. One of the appeals of the southern route, like hopping uh, along the southern coast, was that uh, you could be more protected behind a lot more headlands and stuff. Did you guys find that? Like, yeah, it was really calm. It yeah, was for the most part. All yeah. the sand, the most of the sound. The sailing was mostly calm, except for a few squalls that we hit. Did you guys, uh, when you switched from Boca Chica to or um, Bay of Eagles to your next spot, did you sail at night or did you just go through? We pretty much sailed every at night for each okay. one. We had overnight passages, okay. which were fine. We just had to go. The catabatic winds we weren't finding to be as accurate as what we heard. Okay. So we tended to kind of go out a little bit to catch wind to be able to sail. Uh, Bay of Eagles boat, our Bruno was fine. So that's like another big difference. Like they were able to sail from their spots, like on the south coast from Port of Entry to Port of Entry. Yeah, there's a lot more. We had to motor. We motored from Ocean World to Sosua so and then so Sosa to Vela to um, some. Samana. I mean, we could have sailed. We could have sailed if we got away from the land a little. It would have been windier. But and if we got away from the land, we would have been in rough water. So right. we decided to afford the garbage line and the rough water to be calm and motoring. And, and just so motoring. That's it's a just disadvantage. A take, but yeah. And then the only other disadvantage for your guys' route is that the windward passage can be a little bit fluky winds, right? Yeah. yeah. And you have a lot of light winds, a lot of stronger winds. The main reason, once we did research, was to go to but we heard, you know, there was more stops. We felt like it would be an easier route for us. It just, I found, wasn't as user friendly as I heard that the no entrances. So, 
as the as the Mona, oh, as the the Mona. northern area. I think there's a lot more people traveling that way, so it's more set up for the cruisers. Yeah. Whereas yeah. south, Barcelona is not a uh, tourist destination at all. Boca Chica is a lot busier there, a lot more amenities, a lot more marinas, grocery stores. But I really wish we could have stopped at a few more places, but we just decided we gotta get going. If you were to do it again, would you do Windward? It's so hard because I really love Dillon Ocean. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. If I could go to Haiti and then just skip the VR, maybe. I don't know. I wouldn't mind doing North just to see the difference. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you've done that. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if the politics were a little tougher for you guys because there's less cruisers coming through that way. So. Yeah. yeah. Like milking it. Yeah. yeah. Sorry to put you guys on the spot. Oh, yeah, that was great. <laughs> oh, that's one thing. Because people wonder, did you guys get asked for rides or tips? Oh, yeah. We were yeah. actually told to give a tip to one of the girls. Yeah. yeah. What, is the, what, is the, what was the tip? Like, tip? Just a tip? Uh, just, they, they just tell us the, the, the money denomination. That's okay. it. They were saying yeah. she needs a tip. Because someone else, did you say <laughs> someone else needed a, a boat checking fee? Well, yeah. Somebody, it wasn't on the paperwork. Well, we got charged the boat checking fee, and it was literally the open up cabinet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> checking if any sort of. Yeah. That's so yeah. funny. <laughs>